Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll just continue with the physical layout. So in the previous tutorial, I already uh, spoke about the data files and redo files. One point that I forgot to tell about redo files is, as I said, uh, two redo files. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, two redo files will be generated in the uh, generated. So what uh, in interviews they usually ask, what is the use of these redo files? <coughs> so you just need to say that whenever uh, as our database is very sensitive right so anytime anything can happen to our database like uh, it can get crashed or corrupted so using these redo files you can restore the data back you can restore the data okay that's what uh, the use of redo file is so i forgot to tell about this in the previous tutorial so you just make a note of this so redo file is mainly used to mm, you know in case in, in order to recover in case of any data file is getting corrupted or uh, you know crashed when we do the data manipulations and all so hope i was clear with the data files and redo files now let us um, continue with the um, control files so what control file is it's very simple the control file will uh, or the control log will just store the name and location of where the data file and redo files are located or situated or sorry this control file will mainly contains the name of these data and redo files and also the location of it hope this is also was clear so uh, for our database uh, operation operation uh, minimum uh, one control file is required so as i said in the previous tutorial for redo file two uh, two redo log files will be there I even simply mentioned as A and B like that. So we know that for a database operation in redo files, two should be required. For our control file, one minimum one control file is sufficient. Okay, for a database operation. So another thing you need to remember about control file is what it does is it will simply uh, store the sorry store the uh, name and location of the data and uh, redo log files okay so that's what it, these uh, control files will do and also uh, another thing uh, you can or another uh, point you can notice that whenever somebody asks you what is the size of your database you say something like it's a 1 gb or 10 gb or whatever so what exactly it means is the database size is nothing but it's equal to the redo log file plus the control file plus the data data file the combination of these three is what is uh, uh, you know uh, will uh, fetch us the database size so it's a uh, very important and uh, you can make a note of this so database size is nothing but our redo log file size plus the control file size plus the database uh, i mean data file size okay so this word is about uh, control uh, file hope uh, you guys have understood about this so now let us move on to the uh, parameter uh, file parameter file is also very simple parameter file is nothing but uh, this is a file uh, this is the one which contains all the list of parameters which is required for our database operation so say that contains list of uh, parameters which is uh, required for database operation okay so this is the first point you need to remember about uh, parameter file then um, second one is how this uh, no uh, parameter file is nothing but uh, uh, already i've spoken about this i guess you all would have heard about init.ora this is the parameter file so whenever uh, if you get into the path where you have uh, installed your oracle you can find this init.ora file so this init.ora file is um, mainly used whenever uh, uh, you know database uh, gets started up so how it exactly works is whenever our uh, database starts up first what happens is this parameter file is the first file that has been read okay then from there it will fetch the um, i can say that from uh, init.ora it will fetch the control file 
location of the control file and as we know what control file will be having from the control file it will fetch the where exactly the data file and uh, data or redo files are situated so this is how it works so whenever the database starts up the parameter file is the first file which gets uh, opened and then it reads the control file i mean control file location then it goes to a control file location from there it will uh, read the uh, from the control file it will pick where the redo or data file and uh, it will open the same okay so this is how the all the files will uh, will get opened whenever we do the database operations and all so hope i'm clear with the parameter uh, file also so example for the parameter file as i said it's um, init.ora or else um, some other uh, file called sp file dot ora even this is also the file name uh, one you will be having this or this one so both are the parameter files so hope i'm clear with this then uh, the final thing i need to talk about uh, redo file is there is something called archived uh, redo log file so no need to get confused archived um, archived redo file is nothing but where whenever we take the backup copies of the copies of our redo files that is nothing but it's a archived uh, redo log file okay so this is about the physical layout so i guess i was clear with these uh, four types so if there are any queries based on this then uh, please do mail me my email id is uh, plsql.informatica@gmail.com so hope uh, my tutorials are uh, useful for many of you there and uh, do like my videos and uh, comment below the videos um and thank you very much for watching